Welcome back to the stream, my name is Nut Raisin. New day of Pilo 20 ahead of us on Runnet 1.eu, Philip Galfan's poker site, and we get Welcome back in style with Aces that take it down pre. That is fine. It was a fun day of streaming yesterday. At one point down like five binds, finished up pretty much exactly breaking even, I believe. Like within one, two, three euros. And so, you know, fair enough. Kind of disagreed with the dealer uh, a bunch of times when it came to certain river cards. And other than that, it was a very entertaining session. And the games today are going strong. There are 48 entries in the Pilot 20 pool and first time I checked was like 11.30, 11, 11.30, something like that. Right before noon and there were around th in the mid 30s. 35 entries already then. So things are looking up. If you look at the play PLO, then run it once is not a bad spot to do so. I think this probably needs to be a fold. Let's look this one up. And I played a little bit off stream uh, to warm up. Took down two binds, which was pretty sweet and a good start to the day. Where was on the button? Ace Queen 10 Deuce, I believe it was, right? Interesting. With the low cards, 10 4, 10 3, 10 5, uh, 10 Deuce, not 10 5. It is actually a race call. Very interesting. So it's. Curious that the 10 5 shouldn't be, wouldn't be. I'm quite sure why that is. I guess because your straight would never be to the nuts, maybe? Hmm, curious. And we just had ace that got a walk here, after that we had kings that are needed to fold, then I took down a hand, and now I get ace, ace, queen, jack, how much better does it get? Not much is the answer, unless somebody decides to put a 3-bet in. Should be pretty sweet indeed. Okay. A 3-way sandwiched. I guess let's take one off. Turn that ace. Turning a jack. So we do block king jack. He checked behind, so he never has a king. I really doubt he has kings unless he has quads. I really don't see him checking here. Twice. The king jack might be slow played here every once in a while. Now that. I'm not sure if I believe that. what to make of it I should say. I do want to believe him but really check the flop. I guess I could have checked behind as played. I'm gonna call. And it does give us this the flush but it's another potential full house on there. If he checks we're never not good. So what was that about? Ace 10, 8, 6, huh? Three spades. I don't get it. I guess he turned a gutter?
Okay, that was strange. We're definitely gonna keep an eye on him. It's kind of a pity that he's that he has position on me. Probably fine for a race. I do wonder if it should be a race fold or a race call. I guess if he comes over the top now, I'm gonna let it go. Three ways. Yeah. Let's do check that out. Small blind versus MP is what we are, right? Flares, actually it's a race call according to the Matrix. And welcome back, Flares. Frenchie is in the house once more. I'm assuming studying? And having me on on the side? Or are you playing today, sir? This is the table where we're getting hands at. Right, small blind versus MP. Small blind versus MP. The ace check nine six, I believe, is what it was. Actually, it shouldn't even be uh, squeezed or just raised. It wasn't a squeeze at that point, and this is quite nice. You get to put on a lot of money with crappy aces pre. This makes it easier if we can bet large here. Yeah. Money's going in. Let's hope he can find a fold. With a low, should he have a low flush? I mean, he's never falling a low flush. Nice. But yeah, I, I'm not 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 see betting there with this SPR. And the Ace of Diamonds in my hand, of course. Um, could come over the top. Out of position? I actually could have, yeah. Now that is not a terrible board. We have a pair and an open ender. Now, fair enough, so that's the Marco Salvo solution now. Huh? Oh, for cutoff versus button. That spot was button versus small blind. Yeah, that changed. Let's see if the Microsoft uh, the matrix agrees. I assume it does because I would assume. Wait, what happened here? Okay, we both took it down. Yeah, let's check button versus... So it would just be cut off, right? Because we were the first the initial razor. Ace, queen, ten, deuce. Yeah, but that's perfectly... The, the matrix agrees. And we are off to a good start. We are up almost one buying on this table, which sadly seems to be breaking a little. But there are 48 entries, so plenty of other tables should this one indeed break. I would stay around for a while. Um, do, do, do not quite, I think. Don't need to grieve against this dude. Out of position. No traffic, no playing on my. Okay. When does traffic pick up usually for you? Yeah, 
adjust my screen a little. Ah, that's better. Take it down. A bunch of people are sitting out down here for some reason. Try this again. And a gut shot, I guess. I think this might be a good one to try to take away. We do have the days. Uh, the, the 10, I mean. Yeah, table 2 broke. Fair enough. And down here we have a. Race to the car in front of us holding Ace Ace Jack 4, Singer Suited and Hearts. I. Yeah? Ah, that's SBR, yeah. I think I had a spot there where I check folded or something early in my streams, and Kippery basically let me know in no uncertain terms that with that SBR and these spots I'm getting the money in. I've taken his words to heart. Not a bad turn at all. Lol, he's saying, well... <laughs> yeah. Not sure what the lol was about. But yeah, I mean... What do you think sh uh, should be the move there, Frenchie? And that ace's hand on the monotone board. I'm curious. Uh, I'll, I'll just let it go. The suits suck. The low cards aren't that exciting. I'll just let it go. What happened? Why did that table disappear? Flares. I pay. I paid forty dollars. Quite a lot, if you ask me. And that was a grandfathered plan because I've been a customer of the Matrix ever since they opened, I think. If you're not, then it's even sli that's slightly more expensive, like $49, $50. But I was proactive about it and asked them if they want to put a banner on my channel because I've been using the product a lot and mentioning it a lot on the, on the stream, which I didn't tell them, but just asked if they want to put, put the banner on there. And long story short, I'm not paying anymore. Looked like a decent part. I have absolutely no clue why table 4 just disappeared, I swear it. And I still don't remember hitting that sit out button. Or that leave table button, did I? No. No clue. And give me didn't give me the pop-up message like everybody else left that you want to reset with 20 euros, which I usually get. When somebody leaves, when the table breaks because people are leaving. Curious. If you're playing on Run and Once, tomorrow is a good day to put volume in. The Saturday sprint is going down 
they're not the Saturday sprint, the Sunday sprint is going down where the people are putting in the most volume, volume, oh. uh, win a cash prize and 10 people win a cash prize drawn randomly, a uh, cash prize of 10 euros, so just for people who don't want to go for the, you know, the top spots, the top 10 spots volume wise. But even so, you have the possibility of uh, winning 10 bucks there in that uh, extra draw. And on the side as small as this, uh, for now, there's a decent chance to actually win those 10 euros. And this time they do it with a twist, so not everyone is moving down to No Limit 4 and, you know, just grinds out a huge volume. Win rate or uh, results be damned. And they added a multiplier, so why are tables closing? Table 1 just close. Hey, no point in you sh me showing you an empty square. There was a full table. What the deuce? I've never had that. Did I click some sort of leave all? No. <sighs> Did another table... Well, he had... the SPR was one. Is that... would that be your approach in SPR... in a situation of an SPR for one? I'll restart the client at the moment. This is just spooky. Sorry. I'm showing you a blank screen there. This is too weird. This never happened before. What in the world? That's small and called off. Okay, yeah, that, yeah. But uh, apply more pressure on future streets. I'm not sure how that applies, it's, you know, given the SPR. I think it was low. I think it was at SPR was one or possibly even lower. Down here, okay, there's one dude sitting out. I think I, that probably makes it alright as a race fold, naturally. Yeah, thanks. It is, it is. I was surprised that they said yes, and it took like three minutes. I hit him up on Discord, and like three minutes later, I got an email from somebody telling telling me that Doug Polk told him to contact me and give me the Matrix for free. And I was like, oh, okay. Doug Polk tells you. Who am I to argue? That was pretty funny. Hmm. Interesting. Really? That's how I win this hand, huh? Who would have thought? If I do, but I think the chances are pretty good. Yeah, so I'll restart the client in a moment. Because of spooky stuff. He seems to have something there. Already tanked pretty, pretty hard. On the river. All right, let's try this again. Okay, where my client be? Oh, there, there it be. There it is. Look the cello stacks. Okay. Interesting. 
interesting. That's smaller than Call of Fame. Um, yeah, yeah. But if you're betting smaller and you plan to call it, call it off, isn't it? Doesn't it make more sense to uh, put it all in in that case then? Because that way, you know, you might avoid him making two pair or whatever and then just on the, on the turn and grudgingly call it off or something like that. That is so weird, the sentence. Not the sentence is perfectly fine, it's just weird to be... Because here, you're correct now, I'm used to, sh to deeper stacks, but it's just weird because I've been short stacking for so long to see you say that and it actually being true. Really? I'll talk to Kipari about it. I'm curious what his input was. Maybe I'm misremembering a spot, or it was a slightly different spot with a, with a different dynamic. Very interesting. Thanks, Frenchy. That is an excellent question. That's an excellent question. Does he have a monotone board video? Let me check that. I think there wasn't there was no such thing in the launch pad at least. See how that works out for us. Not that well, huh? Two pair name. Got the call, interesting. Also an interesting spot is up here in the splash pot where everybody limped. Wow. It's really interesting. I'm not sure I'm folding here, to be honest. Don't you want them to play? Ah, that is an excellent point. I hadn't thought about that angle at all. Um, bah, 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 well, ugh. I don't think I'm folding this on a rainbow board. Got a little bit lucky there. He actually had the nuts night. Uh, no outs except for the full house. Down here.
Oh, there are, there is, there is, there is a monotone flop video. I tell a lie. In the three bed pot blue print. Blue print. Yeah, ex thanks, Rimshi. I hadn't thought about that at all. Of course I wouldn't do bluff. Yeah, duh. Great point. Alright, so table three went down to being three handed. Actually, two handed since one dude was sitting out. Table four doesn't. So well, let's see if it fills back up. And so far, the session is the session in this day has been going well. So I was up two buy-ins when I played off screen. Now I'm up two buy-ins. So that's a great start. Yeah, four buy-ins in total. I was like, had confused myself there. And on, on top of our two pair, and a flush draw as well. Guess we'll take this one down. Here, took down one as well. I raised the came over the top, I called. Also, an, a good point, Flare is. You and uh, you, you, you're bound to be right. Yeah, that people are under bluffing uh, massively there. Took it down with Ace Ace Five Five Pre. Have the Ace Queen Queen Seven down here. Um, looks like a sizable pot happening here in table four. Pick up the king queen nine seven under the gun, double suited. Also makes sense. If if people are under bluffing, then your low flushes and sets probably wouldn't be any good at that point. Hmm. So I'm sure someone is loving that board. 
repairing. Not him, yes, ace and a straight. What do the other guy have? It's like two pair, like an ace six, something like that. No. Nine, six, seven, three, wow. That was Aiden. Was he the aggressor at any point? Yeah, the turn. Interesting. Ah, it shouldn't even be raised for ace eight four three. Just too gapped, huh? I guess it's more of the combination of, Luke, of two low cards. Because the five three, even the five twos would be a raise, and the five twos could be a raise call, raise fold. So it can't be the gaps. It has to be just the card strength. For another sizable one. On table one, I'm probably gonna. Mm, I got the call there. Yeah, I think so. And I do flop bottom set and a flush draw. So I'm very much interested in keeping this pot small, real deep. Almost 200 BB against this dude. That is helpful, him checking. certainly be doing this with blockers and I think I'm gonna call all the flush draws missed he could easily have kings or queens and would very likely turn these or it's not unlikely at all that he would turn these into a bluff here Let's see if that's indeed the case no well he had the queens but he had the goods as well hmm also true yeah frequency how often do you get that uh, the, uh, decent holding there. So you are checking in any case a lot. Hmm. Now I decided to fold here. Um, this one I need to look up. So I've been a little bit too c uh, careful, really. Well, with all the kings, let's go for it. Nice. Right, so the ace, king, jack, five, button versus cutoff.
No, it's perfect. Perfect. They're the bad kind of thing is suited. So they need they need really to be uh, much better connected. Ace King, Queen Ten, down to the Jack Eight, and even the Ten Seven are fine calls, even if the suits ain't perfect. Cool. Yeah, good point, Frenchy. So checking there, huh? there's no betting in these spots. Interesting. I'm, I'll uh, actually make a note of and uh, rewatch the relevant videos. the action sure I think oh well, that'll do it for me that'll do just fine and we make this flush and triple up Lol, he's saying, well, I was free rolling you pretty hard. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think I'm coming over the top. Oh. <laughs> Another pot size, huh? Well, let's do it once again. Nah. With the chips he has remaining. Of course, it's a really unfortunate turn. Wait, re really? Oh, few indeed. <laughs> he seems to be a happy camper, nevertheless. Raised here, I'm not gonna fold the 9955 double suited in position. 400 BB. Okay, let's flop us something nice. Not quite. Is he losing another one? Yeah. Well, but now he's really gambling. We have another decent hand. Wow, wow, wow. Um, it's not it's not a three betting hand. Ah uh, fuck this. Are we really playing? Am I coming over the top? Am I calling here? This sucks. I think we have to put it in, right? We have to put it in. Could lay it down or I can put it in, but I'm not calling. I'm not just calling. He has aces with a king. And we make a flush, but that's no good, unfortunately, against the full house. So we did actually have to hammer there. Oh, well, it is what it is. And what it is is unfortunate. <laughs> uh, 
Well, it looks like I'm doubling up here at least. So I got a little bit of money back, but I mean for 200 BB, maybe I'm better off just falling. Yeah, that's probably needs to be the move, right? Here's what you would do, Frenchie, or you, Flarius, for that matter, or anyone watching. What your opinion is? Can you are, you? are you laying it down? Are you calling? Calling seems to be the worst option. I feel. We I mean, didn't have much invested at this point. It's also something to consider. I mean, I'm not going to beat myself up over it, but I'm not sure that was the ideal line there. He had a straight draw, yeah, that he did. But I think he was the three better pre. Okay. Unfortunately, this dude left, which is unfortunate. Guess he had enough. Yeah, check out the monotone board video. I'll check it out again. I think I've watched it before, but there was on a day where I watched it a lot. Not the ideal approach. So I would suspect I'm always good here, given the hand, went, given the way that hand went down. Maybe we can find a call with Jack Eight. Right. Curious to see what he had. Aces. Okay. Confirmed three betting hand there. Okay. That is great to hear. That's saying sizing probably should have taken one off. Might have slowed down on, on the turn, giving us two cards to catch up potentially. But all in all, the tables seem to be pretty nice. As they are most afternoons. Certainly gonna raise the ace ten ten jack single suited two days. Oh he's back. The blue shirt is back. How nice is that? Wow. Talking about the royal flush. We have a royal flush. How nice is that? Unfortunately, we don't get to show it off. <laughs> I must say, the puke icon <laughs> or emote rather is pretty nice.
Hmm. That makes a lot of sense what you're writing. Curious to see what um, Frenchie is gonna reply. And I'm sort of in that camp as well, Flares. Oh, right, the one I asked about. Right, so first of all, here. Are we never folding questions? Are we raising the pass size? We might actually. Well, let's. Take one off. I added an additional gutter, so I'm never folding it. If he bets pot, I'm just gonna come over the top. Yeah. Shazam! Shazam! Right, so Flair is that situation. I'm gonna bring up the hand history in a moment. Right, so we had... So, hang on. Try to make it a little bit clearer. We had the King King Queen Jack on the button or something. Uh, double suited. And the uh, blue shirt the crazy dude um, raised. Another... <clears throat> right, so s how's the pre flops He raised, I just called. Oh, and the blue shirt went over the top. That's so another another dude uh, raised, I just called pre, and the blue shirt went over the top, and then the original razor uh, f came over the top once more, and we were 200 big blinds deep. And then there was the question: Am I am I folding here? Calling seemed to be the worst option, like after he raised he had 16 euros uh, left and the pot was huge at that point. So he raised to 24 euros, he raised by 17 euros. Yeah, and we were pretty evenly stacked, both of us were around 200 big blinds, a little, just a tad under, possibly. Confirmed not 3 bit. Okay, that's, it had me confused, because I looked at the hand up earlier at some point and I thought... They are very rarely 3-bets, only very specific situations like small blind versus button or something like that. Yeah, he's just, he's losing it, this gentleman. He can get a different shirt now. What did the other guy have? I didn't even pay attention to that. Aces, okay, well, fair enough. Can't really fault him for aces. Here, I opened the button, checked the flop. Uh, and I am not gonna fold here, I think. I think it was close. And now, I mean, I'm probably gonna fold, but it's the sizing, him showing that he can do some strange stuff. And 6-5, something like that, are still good. I think for this bet sizing I'm gonna call. Queens are definitely better than 10s. Pink shirt left again, let's see if he shows up once more. Would be awesome. Right, so not a 3-bet, so this part I did correct. And then the other dude came over the top. And what's the move then? Do I call, leaving 16 behind in a like a huge pot at this point? So the pot would have been... Let me check what the pot was at this point. 340... 10... Pot was 27 euros. When he uh, when he came over the top, it 
Şey sevmiştik. To continue, go to board. What are you doing? So let's see what's in here. These are also hints I'm not quite certain about yet. I think it needs to be folded, right? On the button it's probably a different story. Let's check out of both. Queen Jack 7 7. First in the cutoff. Double suited of course, otherwise wouldn't even be thinking about it. No! Well I hang on. The Queen Jack is actually that's very interesting. The the Queen 10, Jack 10. King 10, King Jack are fine. The Queen Jack is the only one that's being folded there. Very curious. On the cutoff. In the cutoff. And on the button, then I suspect it's going to be a race on the button. Wow. Before having come over the top here, we flop pretty s nicely. Flopping top trips. Not immensely helpful. Up here, sp uh, blind versus blind. I checked the flop. He bet. He bets now. I'm gonna take one off. Not an awesome card. I do take it down on table one with the aces. I guess I could have raised the turn, actually. We do take it down, wow. Yeah, it's like some sort of straight draw, what was going on? Yeah, six, oh, he had a wrap. Six, seven, four, three. Fair enough. Ooh, almost min raised here. Check this one behind against the small blind. Now I'm gonna fold. So we're doing quite well with uh, the st the two binds I took down off stream. So for this stream we're up three binds for now, and in total we're up almost five. Unfortunately, table one is breaking. I'll give it a moment, see if somebody comes along. Otherwise, I'll look for a better one. Yeah, down to heads up, which I don't do. This is bound to be a race fold. Yep. Be surprised if it isn't. I'll look it up. I'll fold uh, though. Is ten six four, huh?
And it's close, uh, perfectly suited. The 6 4 should be called a 6 3, uh, 6 2 should be raised fold, so. Mm. Not a huge deal folding there, but solver proof would be a call. Interesting. Wasn't far off the mark at all. And all the other ones would be raised calls, like the 4 3, 4 2s. Except the 3 2s would just be a fold pre, but all the other ones would be raised call. Yeah, thanks a lot, Flares. Don't have 200 BB Sims. Yeah, fair enough. I suspect this changes things a little bit. Come over the top here. I think that was fine with the Ace King. That was suited here. Also, not gonna fold against the re-raise, I think, is the move here. Let's check it out. But I'm gonna stick to my guns if he comes over the top, then I'll not fold. Let's see what the solver approaches. Button versus MP. No, just a call. A little bit too trigger happy there, even double suited. I mean, now it's played, you know, money's going in. Opening here doesn't have a screen. Wow. <laughs> that was a brave fall in, sir. Four a bit. Six single suited. Wow, Shazam also. That was nice. Agreed. I, def I completely agree with the second part and the first one as well, yeah. I th you're like 90. I think you're right on the money there. The half the ace is almost always there. And in that situation, the dynamic might have well been a little bit different. Because he was bound to be aware of how wide open that guy was at this point. So, uh, I agree, it is a weird situation. Maybe, you know what, I'll check this one out. Or I'll, I'll copy this one out, is what I want to say. And maybe I'll post it in the, in the Discord for discussion. I also can post it elsewhere, possibly. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't consider it. There, it did space out. Flop a top hair and a 
gut shot here. I guess a whole bunch of blockers. Let's take one off. With a spade in my hand, otherwise I probably would have just folded. Flop a top here and a flush draw. Make that a flush. Here I'm gonna come over the top, small blind versus button. He checked and... With a right? <laughs> Down here, unfortunately, can't be part of it. He cold calls, he calls, and we flop nicely once more. If somebody has ace queen, then so be it. Or nine. Yeah, <laughs> same difference there. Didn't quite get that one myself. <laughs> he's, uh, he's in rough shape, man. We take down another decent pot there. Here I'm in it because, you know, it's a splash pot. And not a bad one either. Well, it's not a great one now that I know this. So maybe just folding here is the move. Here I get raised. I'm gonna be in position for roughly 100 BB, 400 BB. I flop pretty nice again. Here, things are bound to get interesting. I do have stuff. Now the question is, do I come over the top right away? I think the answer can be no. Like, either way, it's fine. So he's puking. I guess he, he would have made quads, probably. I'm gonna let it go, though. He takes it down. Uh, that's small once more fine by me. It's, you and me both, Frenchy! It is a cold call, right? And a short stack of uh, 30 BB, you shove it in there. Exactly, you and me both. It's still messing up my head, the, the short second ranges. Even though conversely now when I short sec, I can't remember the short second ranges. I always do weird stuff that I shouldn't be doing at 30 BB. Thank god I ran pure. I went short stacking this month. Yeah, I have the same problem. Hmm. I think the issue here is I'm never getting it heads up or close to it, so I'll just call this one. And we are doing well. We are up almost six binds for the day and almost four binds for the session. Hmm. I think I'll just call here. Not blocking. Bates, only blocking diamonds just a tiny bit. With him, having him behind me, like heads up, I probably always raise. I think I'm gonna go with a like an exploitative sizing, something that can maybe do a crying call for. If he comes over the top, I'm not folding. So we have kings in two spots. We have kings down here against the min race. I decided to come over the top. Looks like we're gonna play a bigger one in position. And we have double suited kings over here, which take it down pre. Not the board we're looking for at all. 
Guess we're hoping for backdoor diamonds or backdoor full house at this point. Nope, we're hoping to fold. Habits are good looking at the faces. I mean, here, lose aggro, lose aggro, lose passive. Pool dipped a little bit. There's There are 29 entries right now. Probably one for the check-in range here. Don't need to see it all the time. Streaming. I've been streaming, uh, period. Not only PLO. I've never streamed before. Ever since the one day after Run It Once opened. Still have that first stream saved in my YouTube. Yeah, that's what gave me the incentive to start streaming. The streamer promotion. I figured, eh, if I get 5 euros, I make 50% extra rake back on the... On those 49% left of rake. Back then I thought I was making 50% on the entirety of the rake, so I would be making more than 100% already. Obviously that was wrong. So yeah, for, what is it now, 9, 10 weeks? Oh, it's like 3 months, um, almost. Yeah, no, actually it's quite close, Ten, like around 10 weeks. Yeah, I mean, if an ace king king um, x, there is a just a call button versus cutoff, then the ace queen queen has to be as well. Down here, we're not closing the action. I just let it go. The three broadways have a gap in them. The four doesn't help at all. It would have been a nice flop, but would have, should have, could have. Doesn't really feature on this channel. Took down a small splash on table 2, like a euro splash. Here against the min rays, I am not just calling. With ace king king 4 triple suited. And effectively a 100 BB. Interesting flop, not gonna bet it. With no hearts, I have no f straight blockers. I do have a top set in that part, I like it a lot. So still there's only one straight possible. He didn't bet here, it's possible that he has a straight without any hearts and was waiting for a safe turn. But I think betting now is a good way to go about it. And here checking it all, all the way. Maybe a flop bet against a big blind, maybe, sure. And would you look at that, we are good. I think this one has to be too weak. Queen Jack 10 7 triple suited on the button. Let's look it up. Queen Jack 10 7 on the button. Wow. Queen Jack 10 7. No, even triple suited. Wow, it shows you what I know. Not enough. This is kind uh, of ugly. Or half pot. Okay, that's definitely not the worst card in the deck. It's not the best one, but it doesn't complete any flushes. We might be splitting, or we might actually be good. Right on. Here, decided not to see that the flop. He's lolling it up. Here to do the saying hi. Well, hi to you. And here, this is quite awesome. I'm gonna go for the pot size. Any race looks suspicious. This has the best chance of succeeding, I feel, because then it's more likely. I feel people uh, perceive this as a, flop, uh, as a bluff a little bit more often than if I bet smaller. Yeah, 
But maybe not. I mean, I'm always thinking if the bet's smaller, then it really looks like value. Not always, but the thought does cross my mind. So I don't know. Interesting though that the Queen Jack 10 7 triple suited is a race, and the race colored that on the button. I guess the three connected cards, and the seven isn't that disconnected either. I actually could have, would have been able to work that one out. Or should have been able. Oh well. Not a huge deal. This one I'm not folding. And I think hope slash. Uh, slash hope <laughs> that it's correct. <laughs> so we have a top pair, we have a gutter. Don't mind if he checks this. If he bets part, then that's a different story. Check this one out as well. Let's check it seven now. Ah, see this? Wait. No, it was perfectly suited. No, okay, then it's alright. Right, I was suited to the ace. Yeah, yeah, then it's alright. It's definitely a race call. Decent splash up here. We're really not gonna take this hand to battle. And here I think this one needs to be folded with the gap here. That's what I remember having it checked out at some point or a similar hand. Button versus under the gun. I know it looks nice. Nope. Wrong again. Definitely a call. pre and here I believe the oh this guy took it out not the original razor okay Not on Twitch, they're all on YouTube, which is what I use the YouTube channel for, just to arc for archivation purposes. The first one, I have set the first one to private right now, but I, there's no reason behind it. I'll set it to public. Interesting, it's not a call, it's a raised fold. Color me surprised. Yeah, Twitch, unless your partner deletes old videos after I believe 14 days, and if your partner, it's not that much longer, it's like a 24 days or a month or something like that. Up here, I would say a flop well. Blocking top set, having middle set. <laughs> thanks, Flares, Flares, and thanks for being around. And have a good study session. is in now. I'd rather try that or have it checked through than uh, bet and get called. 
for some reason. So we're bound to have the nuts right now, right? I don't see any point in him checking aces behind closing the action. Nice! Just once more then. And do take it down. Sweet. Closing the action, I kinda doubt it. Even closing the action, I mean. Would be a call. The six twos. There are only a few of the queens would be a fault there. The eight four, eight three, eight two, seven three, seven twos, and six twos would be faults. All the other ones would be called. Okay, note to self. Hey man, I, I'm sure I'll be looking up spots over and over again. It's just just so much stuff in PLO. I'll be doing this for a while to come. I, I suspect. really doesn't look that exciting. I mean, neither does table one, but here we at least... De we have this loose aggro to our left, we have a deep do to our right. So I think I'll stick around in this one, but table two is losing its ap appeal uh, rapidly. On the new table, we get welcomed in style once more with the Ace Ace Eight Four. Wow, well, these gentlemen are playing a big one. Get called here. how much folding we're gonna do here. Now it's a slightly different story, but with me having checked all the way, we might find a bluff and we do take it down. King of Spades. It's probably not a spot where I'm over sea betting. Can be a bit fold. And we do take it down. We're doing well, six points in profit. Four for the session, six for the day.
So I'll let you know if anything interesting ends up happening up there. I think they both checked, yeah. And here... Not, I'm gonna pot it now. I'm very curious. I never checked out uh, a complete offsuit hands there for this spot, or for any spot, really. So King King 10-9 versus a button open and a small blind. Weekly offsuit. I have a feeling it might be alright. As a race fold, naturally, but... No? Well, actually, yes. Yes. Never mind. It's fine. 10 8 would be a fault. 10 9 is a race fault. Awesome. Very nice. Follow up the kings by Ace Ace 7 3. Singer suited here. One of the button, I'm not just calling it 100 BB. On the button, I'm. Might. Cold calling again. He doesn't much care, I think. Well, awesome. Awesome. Let's play for a big one then. YOLO. The min race, huh? Wow. I have no idea what the min race is supposed to tell anyone. Okay, it's telling us that he has the Ace Queen Jack Eight, which is no good. Shazam! Lol, he's saying, "Well, phew." I nice hand. He said sarcastically, "Lol." <laughs> I kind of felt like we had a conversation there almost. <laughs> <laughs> he gave the immediate law when I said nice hand. Uh, he was on to us. I think he smelled the sarcasm. <laughs> and now you know what chirping chips mean. I heard that expression on... Um, high stakes poker ones. When you win and you have some extra chips and you start chirping, you stop talking. Because you're feeling good. Losers in the game usually don't talk that much when they have a bad session. I mean, not, not general losers, just when you're losing in a session. Flop top and bottom with the back door not flush draw. Check calling sounds pretty good to me. I see you rivet the 10-8. That's an option, but not so sure I'm going to be folding here. Well, the race 10 is just the nuts, is fine. Well played. Not even being sarcastic there. So we turn quite nicely here. And with this heart and a club in my hand, I'm going to come over the top. Unfortunately, our new friend on table 4 left. Just a pity. Okay, gonna check behind. Happily so. Yeah, three pair, no good. That was a nice part. And we certainly have chipping chips, so don't we just? I started at 366 in the cashier. When did then uh, when the day was when the day got started now I'm
Hmm. That's a huge pot at this point, so I'm not entirely sure what my move is here. Read or not. I think there's just too much money in there. We have some redraws, we have a pair. And we have a backdoor flush draw. He comes over the top. We're gonna play for it. Please don't have the 10-7, sir. Which he does, and the flush. Come on! We Wow! Sorry, man! <laughs> oh, lord! Oh, this... <laughs> Whoa! I do apologize. I almost want to apologize. That was rough. <laughs> he had us crushed. He had the nut straight. He had the flush draw. Wow. <laughs> that was dirty. Hey, that's also a way to have profitable a day. Just put the money in bed and get there. <laughs> wow. Down here, what are these peeps doing? King, really? And squeeze, wow, wow. They put the money in on the flop there. <laughs> yep, this one I'm letting go. Dirty Harry! Thanks a lot for the follow, mate. That's very nice. So I'm not gonna fold here just yet. End up making a straight. Not blocking any higher straights at all, unfortunately. Let's close our eyes and hope. Blocker's no good. Even three handed, this is, uh, seems a little bit thin. He is short, so even if I limp here, there's a decent chance he's just gonna come over the top. So here we're gonna play uh, deep against this gentleman. Into small blind doll. Yeah, can't just call. What are these guys up to? He makes a flush this time. He had a reasonable hand. For being short with the extra money in there, I mean, that re sounds reasonable to me. Nice. Happy to take this one down. Hmm. This one I'll let go. Even though I didn't bet at all until this point. More shenanigans going on. Top set, flush, okay. See if we can squeeze another king out of that deck. Nope. Probably needs to be folded. Then again, we're really deep, so on a nice board, we can, we could win a huge one. So I'm torn. What's the 100 BB approach there? King King nine seven. No. 
No, it's fine. At 100 BB at least, race call. So it's it it definitely is going to be fine at 200. I feel. Ends up taking it down. Oh, a decent splash. This time we have a hand. Ah, oh, this might get ugly. Now, if he comes over the top, I'm gonna come over the top again. Not just con a call. to move, Donald. Fold, huh? How about another five, sir? Giving us a gut shot. Yep, needs to let go. We're in a couple of other interesting spots. If Ace is here, um, hang on. First of all, right. So first of all, here we're gonna come over the top with the nuts right now. Not much in the form of redraws, but since he's giving us a set of energy, he makes the full house right away. Good for him. I'm gonna size up here a little bit. And here I'm not gonna bet because that doesn't change anything unless he revert, uh, he turned an a uh, aces. Doesn't have to straight here ever, I think. Right, and here I'm gonna pot it. We have a flush draw and now we have a gutter as well. Okay, we're gonna play a huge one. And we win a huge one! We won a good part there! Shazam! That's what I'm talking about! Nice! And we took it down on table 2 as well, he didn't call. Nice! Kings and the King High flush, huh? Flush draw. That was a, that was a 90 euro part, wow! Woo-wee! Well, that's helping the session. And no mistake. Flop the bottom set here, which is also nice. And I guess we have to block it to the straight flush. Whatever that's worth. I'm gonna take one off. I'm not blocking any of our own outs. Although an ace pairing wouldn't be that exciting. With him behind, Ugh, I. I think I let it go. Yeah. Phew. Ah, that was a good part. That was a good part. Making this session a rather excellent one. Yeah. For the day, we're up 10 buy-ins. For the session 8. Wow. That's a one and a half hours.
And I think I'll go on a short smoke break, clear my head a little, step away from the table for, the, for a moment. Because there is such a thing as Winner's Tilt as well, when you're just riding, riding a wave and then you feel invincible, start playing stupid. Better not do that. Damn it, had my mic muted there for a moment when I was rolling the cigarette. I'm gonna go on a 5 minute break, thanks for keeping me company so far and I'll be back in just a jiffy. I'll leave this table up, so it looks like it's gonna be an exciting one, so hopefully you have something to watch in the meantime. See you in a moment.
And back. Thanks for sticking around. As always, I'm still posting when I uh, when I click the sit back button. Not a huge deal. On table one, I get a hand for it. That is fair. On table two, I do flop stuff. Actually, not that bad. Second nut flush, draw a pair. Broadway blocker. The whole table is involved, though. Not a fun turn and not a great flop. Don't see any reason to see that, honestly. And also, welcome, uh, welcome back, Fobolo Hilo. That's tough. That's a tough one to say, mate. <laughs> he bet I'm folding, even though he bet like a third of the pot, but still. Making us two pair, that is uh, mighty nice in position. And take it down. And again, we get welcomed in style to the new table four. Getting aces in the second hand, double suited to boot with a nine and a deuce as a side card, facing a race. Well, don't mind if I do. Man, what a session. What a session, what a stream so far. Hmm. Okay. He comes over the top, money's going in, happily so. We do block a straight. And we have to not for straw on top. Ugh. Jack-10 is always, you know, on my mind in these spots. That being said, this SPR, I'm just pushing. Not a snap shove. Safe by the river. He had two pair. We double up once more. Nice. Um, do, 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 do. It's a race fold. It's very likely fine. Well, he's short. If he comes over the top, then I'm not quite sure. I'm folding. He should be really tight. The chances are he's not. Let's play for it then. Let's bad beat him. No, no, oh, he makes okay. Never mind, he makes flush. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Wait, that's what these guys are doing. Maybe he's in another hand. Nope. Looks like more people are voting in the polls regarding the 
home game tournament we're gonna have in the future on stars. I don't know if this should needs to be folded. Let's check it out. We'll wait till the preflop is over. Because I'm not sure if I'm gonna fold this one to re raise and I don't want to have the solver, the matrix tell me. Button versus cutoff. 10 10 4 4 single suited. It's fine. Perfectly fine call. If he checks once more, I'm gonna try to go for it. Might not even be a bluff, but. We do take it down. So, yeah, that's a fine call. Right, so in case you care, in case you want to be part of that home game tournament we're going to have every Sunday from now on, then head over to my Discord and the announcement channel there is... There are a bunch of polls, like what to buy. We're going to have two uh, tournaments, it should be said. We're going to have one play money, so everybody, even you know, people in the US or other restricted countries can participate. We're going to have a real money tournament on top. Closing the action, we're going to call here, hoping for a miracle. Ain't getting it. That is fair. So yeah, there are a bunch of polls like what buy-in, how many starting chips, how many minutes per level. That just... I don't need to let the cat in. Let's see what the cat is, cat is dragging in. Not much. Not too strict. Ew. Down here I'm letting it Go. Just calling seems okay. Just want to check out something. Need to pet the cat a little. Alright, up here we have a nicer hand. Ace, queen, queen, deuce. On the button, let's open that. Here we end up making a set. See if it's good. Nope, the nut flush just checked there. What the deuce? Why? Up here we had a king, with the queens we had a king high flop, but uh, the button was the only caller, so I did decide to see with my usual size there. And did take it down. This was a, like a pretty dry board, it was like king seven deuce, something like that. Alright, let's close the action here with 9987. No nine, no straight draws. Nothing going on for us. Hang on, nothing going on in the food ball of my cat, so I'm gonna rectify that.
And on this table, I just witnessed an all-in between these two dudes. Both had pretty questionable holdings. I think this might be a very interesting player to have on our right here. Definitely blue shirt territory. Here we take it on pre. Also pretty sweet. Now let's watch this first. Nope, folds, okay. Good thing he's betting, otherwise I would have bluffed on it. Saved me some money there. And I think, hang on, somebody followed and my program didn't show. Run out on finish line. Thank you very much for the follow. Here, I'm actually gonna <coughs> cold call this, although I'm really getting trying to get rid of my cold calling range and the small blind. But I do want to play hands against him. Here we have nice aces. Ace is queen, jack, pseudo to the queen and spades. He bets, and I've got a fault. Just a gutter, backdoor flush. Not really that exciting. Top two, where we hold no diamonds and no. F st f um, what's it called? Straight blocker. Duh. Over here, things are getting pretty interesting. I called close in the action. Double suited king queen, 8 5. He bets now and I'm not gonna fold the way this hand went down. Also very likely not gonna fold the river river. He does have it. And I'm making the nuts here, which is sweet. Question is do I call? I think I'm gonna call here. Hoping to have someone else and uh nah, hoping to have somebody else call. I felt it was maybe the better way to try to get some money in here. If I raise, these dudes are always folding and there's a decent chance that he's folding as well. That being said, he had the Queen Jack uh, high flush, so he very likely wouldn't have, but meh. And on table one on the river, maybe I could have found a fold there to be honest. Just because it does make sense that he checks on the flop to me with the with the straight, with the hand he was indeed holding. Let's watch what this brings. Brings us a flush. Interesting stuff, nobody bet here. I think I will also have the Ace of Diamonds as backup for future bluffing opportunities. I would say here we flop rather well. Gotcha to the straight flush. We take it down on table one with that bet. If he comes over the top, I'm very likely just calling given the stack sizes in play. question of what the move would be there. No question here. With the ace is 10-9, although completely off suit, the 10-9 is nice to have in there. Not to mention the aces, obviously. Here I would consider this a good flop as well, giving us middle set. We can probably set down a little here.
called quickly. Here I get raised 400 BB and I think I'm gonna come over the top right away. I'm not blocking any of my own outs. So I have backdoor flush. On table 2 I had to take it down. More aces on table 2, this time slightly worse ones. Let's do this. He has, does have the aces indeed. Wow! <laughs> How are we running today? He did have the aces. Didn't never expect him to have aces there. What kind of aces did he have? Sorry, I said aces a lot just now. Ace, ace, eight, seven. Singer suited? What the deuce? How pure are we running? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he's puking and I completely understand. I'm gonna give him a nice hand, because it was indeed a nice hand. Here, four ways, nothing cooking, nothing forward, just falling. I'm also gonna fold now if he bets. Gonna have a tough time drawing out on a, on a turn king. Or any hand that beats us for that matter. So let's keep watching this. Wow. And you run well, you run well. Yeah, up to 10 buy-ins for the session, 12 for the day. I'll take it. Alright, is the cat still around? Nope. I think I need some food. These gentlemen are playing for a big one. So this gentleman just lost a big one. And he might be a little bit on tilt. No, oh, tough beat. Well, not that tough, but... Not fun in, in any case. He flopped the flowers. Dude drew out on him. Couldn't take one off against the button raiser. Giving us a gutter. 
not such a great card. Octram, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. What's the pool doing? 29 entries. Now keep an eye on it a little longer. There's one unknown on the table, but generally speaking, this table doesn't look that exciting anymore. One loose passive, that's good, but all the other dudes, tight aggro, tight passive. Let's see how, how this dude turns out to be. He might be fun. Not a sizable pot up here. Ten I flush, Jack I flush takes it down. It's a pretty decent hand. And the ever so mystifying open limp there in the cutoff. Right, so this one we need to let go. Here, where I came over the top, I'm gonna check out if coming over the top is allowed, so to say. Is King Queen 8? I think it's close, probably. Fine. This is a fine race call, not even close. A uh, race fault, sorry, not race call. Duh. Ooh, let's watch this first. He takes it down.
This time this was a post, not an open limp. Okay. So with the spade in my hand and with the backdoor flush, I'm gonna see that here and possibly I'm gonna size up a little bit for a change. Yeah, I still think the seabed was alright. With the spade, with the backdoor flush. here. But I think there's some room. There's definitely room for limping. Blind versus blind. Yeah, but sometimes even limp aces here, so that's all good. Kings, queens are certainly within his range. You know, even aces, don't get me wrong. Fair enough. Noteworthy hands going down anywhere right now. Ooh, that might be just interesting to watch. I don't think we've seen a showdown from what's his known as Roman yet. Deep in the tank. Okay. So he has the aces, he has the blockers. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Not gonna fold here, the 9987. Not an amazing flop. On the paired board, I do have the front or the back of flush draw, but I think there's better spots to take one off. 
expect these gentlemen are playing another, another big one. Jack five twos. <laughs> okay. Um do, 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 do. Hopefully not a bad turn at all. Not a bad, that's a good start. But I did have... Did, have five, did, did I see quads? Did he, he didn't check quads, did he? No. Okay. The 7754... Double suited... It's probably, bore, probably okay to call that. Let's check that out. Button, I was the cutoff, he was in the button. So it was button versus cutoff. Yep, that's fine. It's a fine call. I'm happy to check once more. I suspect we're gonna be good, yep. Ace is once more on this table. This time we get to squeeze, having a facing a race and a collar in front. With the ace ace five deuce, suited to the ace. So heads up I would push. Not folding just yet. Damn it. Given the speed of the bet, maybe I can find a fault there. I've heard somewhere someone say, might have been Jane Anders, that people usually need time to construct a bluff, so if they act really quickly, then it's usually not one, and I've found this to be very accurate so far. Yeah, maybe. But as played, I mean, the board pairing was basically what we were hoping for, especially one of the low cards. None of them were without danger. There's a bunch of 9-7s in there with a, with a wrap or something like that, or a, an open-ender. Mm. Probably the turn. When he pots the turn, that was probably my exit. He potted into two people. Even with the nut flush draw. Mm -hmm. If he has a set, I'm not doing great at all. Which he might. He might check the set to the original Razor, hoping to get the check raise in. Yeah, I think that one I misplayed.
Seems like a happy camper. Lulls it up and folds. Hmm, interesting. That qualifies as a decent turn. Give me us the nuts currently. Locking hearts. And the nuts stay nutty. So, what's the move, Holmes? Call, and that means we're always good, we're never splitting. Right on. I wonder what he had. The nines, he did indeed have the 9-7. Make it bigger splash and yeah, sure, I'll limp along. We flopped top two, having no diamonds at all, but we're up against the big blind. Could have anything. Okay, the diamond rolls off right away. Bleeding is straight as well. Wow. Wait, here we do take it down. Sorry, here we took it down, yeah, it is King King 10. And here I decided to, I key raise pre, I called the flop. Basically hoping for this card. Hoping for this one though. Still not gonna fold. I don't know what he had. Ten nine six five triple suited. Down here on a rainbow board, it's two opponents. Checking is probably also very fine, maybe even preferable, but I, in my mind I'm blocking like King Jack, Queen Jack a little bit, stuff like that. Which is also maybe speaking against it because that's blocking the continuation range, I'm not blocking Jack 10. Maybe just checking is also w uh, the way. Interesting spot.
three ways. Um, you might be right. In three ways, I tend to be a little bit too careful, probably, Miro. You're probably right, yeah. With the flush draw, but it's a pretty coordinate board. Take one more off here. Not a great river. Check again, maybe we're good actually. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if it's a clear cut all in or not. Or clear cut stack off three ways. Because they can't be stacking off the nut flush draw. Hmm. I don't know, it's... My intuition tells me nothing there. But take it on board, don't get me wrong, gladly so. Up here we make one more pair, he bet fairly small on the flop. Here I'm gonna check once more. Yeah, did it go? Here I'm calling. I'm blocking queens. He did have the quads. Wow, not blocking that. It's unlikely that he had aces. I was blocking queens, and he could just be clicking buttons at this point. Certainly see now a fair share of that. Here we end up making a set. There's a decent chance we're good, especially if he checks. If he doesn't, then we'll see. Yep. I mean, the pot was large at this point. SBR was like 1.7, something like that. Chances are you're right, Miro. So we do have the king of hearts. We have a pair. He bets pot, though. Okay. It's rather, rather entertaining. Decent splash down here. Oof. Okay, never mind. Him, I'm cold calling. So I do want to play. Well, nah, maybe not. Next time I'll just fold it. I do want to play hands against him, but not necessarily out of position here. Let's see if I can take it away. Double gutter over here in the limp pot, where I just checked in the big blind. And a pair on top, so there's that as well. Take one off. And just 
just let her go down on another table. I have a pretty sweet squeezing spot. And I will too. That's a perfectly double suited uh, rundown for a little more than 100 BB. Then again, I'm probably c betting my whole range here. That was very likely a mistake checking. Two way, I, uh, yeah, I have no doubts. I had no doubts, yeah. But three ways, I'll. Um, it sounds right to me. Sure, they, yeah, you're right. They vary from player to player, but okay. If it's EV, then plus EV, then it's plus EV, and that's what matters. Cool. I could gladly keep it in mind for future spots. Okay. So I guess nobody's having 9 unless somebody river 10s. Maybe we get a smaller flush, a uh, smaller straight to call here. Yeah, I'll keep it in mind, Miro, next time I come across the spot. That's what I dig about the streaming, it really cuts down on my study time. Closing the action here in a splash pot, I just saw no reason not to be in it. If he comes over the top, we need to get lucky. He does not, and we don't. Without the five diamonds here, I would have just folded, I think. Let's see if they're getting sick of it yet. Me parting the river. They might. Yep. It's like a king ten. No, just a ace king, no. Fair enough, fair enough. This time we have the hammer on this table. The ace is queen three in the small blind. There's two very active players here in the hand, at least one in the hand, the other is still deciding. And we're playing for 140 BB effectively. Folds, interesting. Well, first of all, thanks for typing all that out, Miroslav. That's awesome. Appreciate that a whole bunch. Um, 
Hang on. Yeah, I think you're... you. Yeah. There's a lot to what you're saying. Um, but I think... I, what to do? I think I do that too. That... I do project my own uh, ranges, my own strategies onto other players. Because it's what I'm uh, familiar with most. And given what we've been seeing at Pilo 20, that is probably not always true. That people are as tight as I am, admittedly. Yeah, and probably seeing past that and assuming a more average approach, more average ranges, is very likely beneficial there. That's a good point. I thought about it uh, in that terms at all. Okay. Let's turn a king. Ah, yay, yay, yay. Well, it cuts down on the sevens he's having. Right. Here, I think I'm just gonna check behind there because I'm confused. That's pre a pretty awesome run out. Yeah, yeah. Right. Lol, he's saying. <laughs> Take that one down. Um, down here. Start by checking. And good thing we did. Oh, definitely a scare card came off. He checked really quickly, and I guess we're either splitting or I'm good. Sweet. let this one go. Wow, they're playing a big one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think you're, you have it exactly right. I'm giving them probably too tight of a stack of range there, judging, uh, coming from my own ranges and what I'm, for my game. And... Very likely that's not the best way to go about it. Table 2 is breaking, so I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, keep that thought in mind. Okay. Mm Actually, I'll copy the whole uh, your whole input there out and put it into my note file. So it's certainly going to come back to that. down, stacking up, building up an even nicer chip stack there. Yeah, noted and copied, Miro. Appreciate you taking the time to type that out. Wow, what a board. We have a set, we have a blocker, we have a flush draw, and we're gonna check it, I think. Get raised down here, closing the action, not folding. 
Uh, this he raises now as well, which I find a little bit baffling. This might get a key. Uh, really? Ugh, little set. Are we in a bunch of stupid spots here? Somehow I have a feeling in both of them folding might be the way to go, actually. Here... I do have that queen... HA! Okay, one of them was good. Now what's the move here? And I'm honestly leaning towards a fold with middle set. Ah, uh, man, oh man, oh man. I can't make up my mind at all. Here things are going nicely. Uh, yeah, they continue to go nicely. But you know if I get called up there. Lolling about that, that was a tough decision, mate. <sighs> yes, <sighs> yeah, I don't even know if I got called on table one there. I don't think I did. No, I did not. Oh, Lord, that was awesome. That was awesome. This day is couldn't. It could be going better. Jesus Christ, we're up. 270 bucks. So that's what, 10, 13, 13 and a half buy-ins? So that's 11 and a half in the session. Two I made off-screen warming up. Wow. Wow. Ah. We are sitting on some stacks! And we're getting some hands too. Namely here and over here as well. And this is gonna be a fine squeeze, 400 BB. Get raised here, ain't gonna fault. Okay, it's gonna be interesting. Here, the squeeze is coming in. Um, I don't know if I can fold here, to be honest. I think for 100 BBs. We lost a little bit there, but yeah, we lost the buy-in, I think. But we do flop pure here. And this table is now short, so I'm gonna leave it. And ain't playing heads up. Here yeah, money's going in with this SPR. Der Alte, welcome back, mate. Nice to have you here. What did he have there, by the way, the blue shirt? How did we lose this? Fives. He rivered fives, okay, you had the queen jack and the rivered fives. And I think we're good here. No worries about having lost the other buy in there, because we just tripled up. What is going on today? We had we made a royal flush earlier. And had just had spectacular hands left and right. And the dealer is has been so very kind today. Which is a nice, very nice change of pace indeed.
you know, and if I was to take off the rest of the month, it would be a very nice month indeed for PLO 20. I'm not gonna, but... Two out of two. <laughs> yeah? Up 290 bucks. Almost 15 buy-ins. But the other one, other one was unfortunate. We turned very awesome. Having top two. And then in the end he rivet fives. Can't, much, can't do much about that. Too bad, was it? Would have been another triple up. Ah! I have no leg to stand on when I try to complain, so I shall not. More unfortunately. We do take it. Wait, do we split this one? What's happening here? We take this one down as well. So, did we split this one? I honestly don't know. I think we did, right? Yeah. Yeah, we both had a 7 8. Yeah, and boy, are we up. Yeah, unchanged. 290 bucks. Are we at the gates of Pilo 50? Well, not yet, but they're rising, they're slowly rising out of the mist. Not yet, but we're getting there. Another month like this and we're there. I need to rinse off my hands. It's Flush and all that jazz. The blocker, a gutter. Make that now an open ender. Interesting spot here. Raised part. Table two, the other dude took it down. I take it down here. Fair trade. And I might take the the night off today and try to go to bed a little bit early and prepare for the 
Saturday sprint, cause tomorrow there's very likely gonna be a marathon stream going down. We're gonna try to win some extra money in the marathon. Well, I'll just let it go. <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll talk to my shaman. Tell him to t tone it down a little bit. Man, what a day! What a day! Uh, if I was gritting any wider, the top of my head would fall off. I'm still so very happy that that call with the middle set there on the ace jack, whatever board with two diamonds, was good. Ooh. Right, when does the sprint start? I believe it starts at noon, right? Right on, you too. I hope whatever you're doing in real life is gonna be pleasant. I think these peeps are gonna play a huge one. Take the night off when you're on a heater. Ah, uh, you know how much better can it get? Blasphemy, says <laughs> Nemox. Welcome back, Nemox. Yeah, I mean, right, the uh, race begins on Sunday at 12 o'clock noon my time, so 12 o'clock noon Central European summer time, that is. And it's probably a good idea to be well rested for that. So I really might. Maybe do some studying. Some light drinking. So if any of you watching uh, are playing on Run at Once, and I probably shouldn't be saying this because uh, I'm enjoying that, uh, the fruits of the following, in the afternoons seems to be the best, like either late at night or in the afternoons German time seems to be the best time to play, like starting at noon whenever they take the game start until like 5, seven in the, five 6 in the evening. Uh, you have a lot of very lively players all to yourself, basically. Well, you're gonna have to share them with me, but... The main message is there. Games are good, especially in the afternoons and late at night. I don't mind sharing. Looks like these peeps are being serious. Uh, the wheel was good. I don't know anyone at this table yet. If I knew there was like one or two tight dudes here behind me, then yeah, maybe. Okay, let's keep watching what they're doing on this table. Double suited kings on table two. And there we are, well, deep ish against a couple of dudes. 
biggest stack is 30. Well, that's not a bad board at all. Giving us an open ender, a flush draw, and of course the over pair. Pairing the board, giving us the second nut flush draw. Stay a little bit cautious here. I think we're good, right? Yep. Oops! I don't think I should be in this hand. That was not the button I meant to hit. Wow. Um, this never happened, right? Well, really? And now we're gonna we're gonna lose this one too. Yeah, we are. Damn those meddling kits. That was my own fault. I should have been in the fault. I shouldn't have been in that hand. And now the downswing begins. Gosh darn it! Well, we're still up 14 buy-ins, so it's all good. We got aces down here, that might help. Are we deep here? Nope. Gonna play this. At most heads up now, that's sweet. Not a bad board, I don't know. We have a pair from it too. If he comes over top, uh, the money is going in. We're not never folding here. Yep, SP off one. One is going in. You now have a gut shot as well. If he has check 10, nope. Just an open ender and it's not good. Well, more of a wrap, but... Got some money back there. can be raised, I think. Yeah. Also gonna call. The gaps aren't too exciting. But if it's a proper, like, three betting range that he's having here, then... As in, you know, if he has high cards, they're doing pretty, quite well. Ooh, damn it, really. Now it's a little bit too gapped, unfortunately. Make it one gapped, and I'm in there. Two is asking a little bit too much. Because he's very likely not folding. Playing the three ways, I don't think so. Yeah. It doesn't matter that we, you know, would have, should have, could have. It's not what I was checking. It's all good. What did Jonathan have there? Ace seven seven, ace nine seven seven, double suited. This one, this one I'm just calling. Because here we don't mind this, uh, playing this one multi-way, we do have none of doubts. Not the most exciting flop, now I'm a little bit more excited. 
Very likely only behind is Queen. Folding. At least you're not. If he pots it now, then we might be actually. He does not. Hope he doesn't have his queen. Yeah. Oops. Fair enough. We kind of lost the minimum there. Table 1 looks mighty nice. Loose aggro, passive, very loose aggro. You could table. Aces find their way to us. This time in the form of Ace Ace 10 Deuce Triple Suited in Clubs. Wouldn't mind if somebody comes over the top. How about you, sir? No? Taking the down pre is fine as well. But truth be told, we did get insanely lucky in at least two parts, two all-ins. Then again, you know, we've seen both sides of that medal on this channel. <laughs> Quite a bit of both sides. And I remember the dealer being kind of nasty yesterday, so it all evens out. Sometimes it's your turn to be lucky. And if that's reinforced by good play, then, which I hope it is, then that's all the better for it. playing for serious money. That's a very loose aggressive dude in there. Maybe we can get to see a showdown. <coughs> King high flush, nine high flush. Did you have a set there? Yep, he flopped a set. Fair enough. Hey, Tobies. Welcome back, mate. Hope you're having a very decent... What is it? Saturday. Saturday it is, right? Right. We Looks like we're gonna be playing a big, big one here. I'm not just 
checking these aces are a little bit too nice. Uh, calling. I'm just fine. Took down another small pot on a, on a different table. Yeah, Toby's. This session, I ran like I can't don't know the appropriate word. I ran like God. Up fourteen and a half buy-ins, two hundred and ninety bucks. Makes for a very good day, and I think I'll be. I probably won't be streaming for that much longer, and I possibly am gonna take the night off to prepare for well, study a little and rest and relax and. Be ready tomorrow at 12 at noon, or possibly a few minutes later, or an hour later, when the Saturday, the Sunday sprint is gonna kick off. And this time we might have a chance to actually take one of the top spots with the new multiplier, so we're not gonna be outvolumed, so to say, by No Limit 4 grinders, since we have our hands count 50% for 50% more with the multiplier. multiplier. And the only question is if somebody at NL or PLO 50, well, probably not NL, depending on the traffic, but PLO is possible if there's going to be somebody serious about grinding. I guess uh, Kitsune might be a candidate. Not really sure if he's planning on playing tomorrow. And this qualifies as a decent board. We have some blockers going on as well. We have backdoors. Flush. We're not deep against anybody. Without any clubs. Without a 10, without a 9. I'm fine potting it here. Would you care to make a wager, Marcel? Okay. Get lucky. Nope. Too bad, too bad. Yeah. So, are the polls going on the Discord? The, so the consensus right now for now seems to be that people would prefer the home game, the real game. We're gonna have two home game tournaments in the future on Sundays. One for play money, so anybody in the world can join, and one for real money. And it seems like for now the polls... So if you want to vote in those polls, head over to the Discord and do so. We're currently trying to figure out like what the buying is gonna be, how many starting chips, and how long the levels should be. So for the buying right now, the clear favorite seems to be two dollars twenty starting chips seem to be everybody wants 5k starting chips the blind levels are divided between somewhere between five and up to 15 minutes We're gonna have to see mm, just gonna call here Gartman hey welcome back Not for the buy-ins, but up 390 bucks. Uh, 200. 290. Yeah, I don't want to overblow or overstate it. Well, probably 280 right now. To check. An amazing session, in short. Just an amazing session. Yeah, 280. So 14 buy-ins. 12 of these on stream. I had a royal flush at one point. Which was also a treat. Yeah, I did get lucky in a few spots, but in, uh, not in a bunch of other spots I just did well. I played well. <coughs> Made a, gr a uh, very fun call earlier, like half an hour ago. I'm gonna, gonna put it in the best of clips. 
That one was a lot of fun. On an Ace Jack X board with two diamonds. Another dude. Uh, I had Jack Jack 10 5 double suited. So I had middle set. And I raised, the other dude came over the top, another one called, I called, closing the action. And then he parted it for like 16 euros, and I had like 23 or 27 behind at this point. And he parted it, for, uh, being the first to act. And I thought for probably a minute and 20 seconds or something like that, that was a long time. And I ended up calling and he had kings, wow. Speaking of having royal flushes, we just make quads here casually. Which we did lose against at one point. Yeah, and I ended up calling and he had King King XX with a diamond, so he had like future straight blockers and the, the nut flush draw, and I did take it down. That was a pretty good one. I was very happy about all that. So, are we gonna lose Kings uh, Quads versus Quads? That would be fun. Yeah, I'm just gonna part it. Yeah, there has something he can call with, or he doesn't. Why are we not losing this one, I would think? Nice. Already have there. Jax! Wow! Wow, that could have gone a whole lot differently on the... F uh, all in all. He flopped the world. Well... At least he thought so. Yeah, and as said, I think I'm gonna... I'm in the mood to take the night off. Prepare for the sprint tomorrow and have a long, long day of streaming tomorrow. It's gonna be like 12, 14 hours of streaming, I, I hope. That's the plan. Take down some sweet extra money in the Sunday sprint. What's up for first place? I think we have a chance of a shot at getting like second or third, potentially. Let's see, what, what are those worth? First place 100, second place 70, third place 40, uh, all euros. Okay, let's gun for first place then. And we have a 1.5 multiplier supplier, so uh, 4 euro stakes would have a multiplier of 1, 10 euros would have 120, 1.25, 20 would have 1.5, 50 would have 1.75, and 100 would have 2. I think we might have a shot. Thanks, Cartman. We... Yeah, thanks. I, th I think so. I think I'm... I'm holding my own on this level now. Like Strategy-wise. We did have... Two, three days ago, we saw two 400 BB specials. One on PLO 10, which we lost, and one at PLO 20, where we took down 120 euro pot. Unfortunately, we had to split. Uh, it would have been a bigger one, like a 170 uh, euro pot, but somebody else had the same hand. And then we grudgingly had to give up, share some of that money with him. And you know, next up, PLO 50. Another month like this, and we'll be there. On the rainbow board. Certainly gonna see that. Good news if he falls, he shouldn't have too many draws here. That's the under the gun player. Right, and I checked it out earlier. Hang on, let me... Check it out again. How... Well, I... I'm gonna put the results for the months up in the Discord. I'm not gonna try to figure them out just yet. Because I didn't keep too close track of my... Profits on micro... on random ones. Hmm... Probably with the six NDAs in my hand. Sure. 
here. I'm also gonna see that's a decent board for that. We do take it down, take it down on table two as well. We have more hands. Namely this one, which is looking mighty fine. There is King Jack 5 double suited uh, button limb. Don't see that all that often. Good old button limb, huh? We flop a very top pair and various back doors. That'll do me just fine. That's gonna stay a rainbow board. Blocking the low end. I guess we're good. Here, a min raised pot I decided it's not good enough to come over the top with. Board is pairing, not the pair we're looking for here. This is the pair we're looking for. Just calling these. Let's just call these. Being deepish against. Yeah, being deep against him. Maybe we get super lucky and somebody comes over the top. Okay, that'll work too. Here, let's just check behind. Well, no, check. Check in front, I guess. On table one, I'm turning the nuts. I don't really believe him. Oh, yeah, the seven, okay. So we realistically we can't use this, can't lose this hand unless he has like kings or something with squads. Jack Austin, hey, welcome back, mate. Good to see you here. And how's your Saturday going? Right, with just the open end, I'm letting this one go. Having no hearts, no back doors, that is fine. Here we have a wrap on a rainbow board. Let's keep watching this. End up making a straight. Still rainbow board, so I'm fine checking once more. Not much to protect against here. And in case we're behind, we are keeping your pot small. And everybody had flushes. He bet small, he bet like a half pot. Not gonna fold. Should he bet and we split this one up, I believe. It's not tough to tell. In a decent splash here. I'll be checking behind. Yeah, we did split, uh, split it up. Cons really considering a bluff here for a moment. pot going down here. Yep, we had no business being in it.
Mm, I think as a race fault, it's fine. Check it out. I'm gonna fault anyway, so I might as well check it out now, no matter what the matrix says. I think that's okay. It can be both. It can be race fault, it can be race called. 10 8 would be a clear race call. Cool. We end up making the second nut flush here. The Golden Blazer now channel! Huge shout out to you, sir! The Golden Blazer has an amazing mid stakes uh, tournament channel with a great vibe. Every time I host him, I end up hanging out there for, for a long while. And if you, if any of that sounds appealing, then you, you're not going to make any mistake heading over to his channel, giving yourself him a follow. He did the Twitch bracket where he pits all the Twitch streamers, like the most, the streamers with the most average viewers, among each other, uh, against each other. And I'm still, I still don't know what's going to happen at the end of the bracket. What's, what's happening to the winners? What are they getting? I never, I made it to like round two, I believe. Jack Austin say, being lazy, yeah, that's the day for it. I think I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna spend my night, being lazy, preparing for the Sunday sprint tomorrow. And thanks for the good luck, man. It can't get any better than it has been. Um, let's go with the race fold, potentially. Yeah, Golden Blazer, nice to see you here. Nice to see you uh, managed to drop in. Because I know it's you, you're, you're busy and you're streaming a lot as yourself, and of course you live on American time, so you don't have uh, many chances to do so. I'll check this out, this hand out in a moment. What the move is here? It's not unlikely that it's a fold either. Actually, it is. The Ace Eight uh, would be fine. The Ace Seven should be folded, so it's not a huge deal either way. And Golden Blazer, I'm having an amazing, amazing session today. Let me check the latest tally. This hand might help as well. Yeah, we're up just a little over 14 buy-ins, 280 bucks this, uh, today. More aces on another table. These, with these we get a walk. Kind of a pity. They look pretty nice. But here we have action front. Let's put more money in. And yeah, everything is good on this end, the Golden Blazer. I think things are good on your end as well, right? You're doing quite nicely in tournaments this month. I loved your Twitter po post about the refunds with the, the, to make sure to give the refunds not to the bots you just banned. I thought it was uh, funny as, as heck. And in the Golden Blazers channel, there's always a lot going on. He always has a whole bunch of people there, a whole lot of interaction. He has a casino in the chat as well. Never had a bad time there. Mm, I don't think so. Let's check this out for effectively MP, but with those side cards, I'm. Fairly confident it's just a straight up fold. In a splash pot here on table one, we get yet more aces. Jack, Jack, seven, three, right? Yeah. And that's perfect. Not even on the edge. The seven, four, uh, starting at the seven, four, it's a fold. Jack, Jack, seven, five is fine, which sounds all right. Because there you have some connectivity with the low cards going on. So here with an SPR of like three points a little bit. Do we have a pair from the board and we blocked a nut flush draw? We have a backdoor flush draw. It's a little bit of a future straight blocker in the form of the seven. You know what, without the, with just a blocker, maybe just checking here. I think I prefer checking. Now is played, the money's gonna go in. But I should have checked, that way I could have utilized, like, make a club turn, a turn, we can really put pressure on. Hope he doesn't have jacks. He does not. 
take it down. Right on. I'm trying to do work, but it's, it's not happening. Ugh. Work on a Saturday? I mean, yeah. Gotta do what you gotta do. Yes! Of course I'll be in! I'll be honored too! I was blown away being in this thing in the first place. Yes! Count me in, always! That's just such a huge surprise to be in this thing. And even more so hearing that you took the 64 streamers, uh, poker streamers that have the highest average viewers, and I was had been streaming for like a month at that point. It blew me right out of the water. So yes, I'm always in. And right? That is... I'm very happy with that. The month has been going well in total as well. Not that great. I'm not, I can't claim 5k just yet, but that's gonna be hard at Pilo 20. Awesome, man! Awesome! When are you gonna quit your day job then? Jesus Christ! So that uh, double up there helped, and I think we're now closing in on, yeah, we're almost 300 uh, bucks in profit for the day. And a surprise for the winner as well, huh? Count me in. It actually bakes, um, you know, it wasn't his fault that the matches uh, didn't come together. He actually, uh, on the night where I decided on having the Twitter poll, he did offer to have a quick heads up match uh, right then, right there. Like th two out of three. But that was an evening where uh, that I took off where I had already been like two, three beers deep and I just didn't want to. but. Lest you think, you know, it was like anyone's fault, it just didn't didn't happen because he didn't have time, then I didn't have time for a change for a week, and we had to do it via Twitter. And of course there he beat me handsomely, having way more followers than I do. That was fun, man. That was a lot of fun. Now that is actually a question I haven't seen discussed, the Golden Blazer. Um, should we open smaller? I never have. Like, I don't can't we call an instant where I have s opened smaller? This is just a call by the way here. Not a raise. Would be a squeeze if he would have been, like if the other dude would have been in there. That's an absolutely excellent question. Right, so here we have the top set. Yes, facing a lead. Mm. Turning a flush draw on top. So we're never folding here. Really hoping he doesn't bet pot. Eh, he doesn't bet pot, but his claws. Not a fun river. This, however, is a very fun flop. I think if he's nice enough to lead, I'm just gonna... Now he checks, which I find a little bit interesting. Maybe he has a lower set. No, yet. Okay, and on table one I took it down with the race. Kind of a pity, but... You know, maybe I shouldn't have raised. I get an overwhelming amount of folds in spots like these. Babs Poker! Hey, hey! Welcome back to the channel, Babs. Or welcome to the channel, I don't know. NL20, let me check. Five entries, so if you put your six entries in there, there's going to be 11, and that's going to attract people. You can manage it all, but that's even better than you have a secure income, and that's always so very helpful for the mind game. For the mind game, for the mindset, of course, I mean. With now the added open ender, let's call here. Oh, 
Unfortunately, I can't quite be part of this party. I don't feel invited. Yeah, so opening smaller. That's an excellent question. I'm going to get back to you on that. I'm going to ask around. I I think it's going to... There's something that's going to change there in any case because... I suspect that they're going to take the splash pot sizes... The splash pot out of the bed sizes for PLO. They had a poll on that about, about that on Twitter. And I think there was the consensus to take it out for PLO because in No Limit it's not a huge deal. You can go all, all in at any, any point anyway. But in PLO it really does change the dynamic of the game quite a lot. So I suspect this is not going to be the way it'll be handled for that much longer. You sent me the link, huh? Okay. And so you did. To the Thirst Lounge. Um, tell me more about the Thirst Lounge, if you if you want. It's a like a team or something. I see the channel open all uh, up all the time. And I think there's like various hosts or something there, or various people playing their games that are being featured on this channel, something like that. Ooh, we get aces here. But I'm living the same life. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if things are going well at the poker tables, that's all uh, nice and good. But having a secure income is just going to take so much pressure off when you know, you know, you get, your rent is going to be paid, your bills, your utilities, everything's going to be paid. And you don't need to stress about any of that. Um, in the small band, I'm never just calling here. Here it did come over the top, um, not the hand to take the battle against a 3-betting range, or 4-betting range in this case, especially not being triple suited, I'll just let it go. And this is not necessarily the board I was looking forward to the most. It's welcome back, right? Uh, sorry, sometimes a lot of stuff is happening on the channel, I don't always quite remember. I need to let this one go. But I did remember the name. I wasn't sure if I remembered it from my channel or from another channel. And then, you know, by any means, welcome back, uh, Babs Poker. The tough spot, it, that is the tough spot, and that's where I'm ahead of the curve. In a sense, you know, being a singer. And yeah, with a the fiancé, then same story. <laughs> Take that one down pre. It's never a bad thing. Gimme, gimme all those blinds. That'll work just fine for me. Here with the King 10, 9, 8. Um, I would be interested in playing a large part against him. Not necessarily out of position and not with a big gap in here. Had he called, I would have squeezed. If he comes over the top, I'm let it go. Now I kind of like this decision more and more. Yeah, no miracle... Well, not miracle flop, but no flop that we need to be sad about not being in the hand either. Aces, duh, against the low rundown. This time the low rundown takes it down. He flopped excellently.
A stream house, I see. Really? Did you get a 20k stake? We have to live in this mansion. Wow, that's gotta have its own set of problems, right? Or temptations, let's say it like that. If you live in a house, in a mansion with Bill Perkins and a bunch of other streamers, there's bound to be some serious, serious partying going on there, right? So were you being serious in that case? If that, you know, if that happens to you, are you gonna do it? Or are you gonna go there? What about, how about, how's that gonna work with the fiance? I mean, it's probably too personal a question. Ignore that. Sorry. But, I, I, you know, fingers crossed that you'll find a way to make it work, is my core message. Sounds awesome. That sounds awesome indeed. So that's what it is. I never knew. And no Bill Perkins, of course, from the yeah, from televised poker games. Seems like a nice dude. For the year, yeah, naturally. I'm happy just checking here, but hate you get raised. We do have a bunch of backdoor equity. Equity, we have the top pair. This is an interesting turn, giving us an open ender, flush draw. And I guess sort of a blocker with the queen. Again, I would hate to get raised, so I'd rather check this one, keep it smallish, that's fine. End up making two pair every once in a blue moon, they are good. We do block the nuts. Oh, 10 9 takes it. Bad king, kings under the gun, folding these. Well, for me, as you know, the hours wouldn't be a problem. But man, really, 20k stake. But the, of course, it's, uh, we're talking America here, so you can only be playing on US facing sides, right? Now, how does it work? Do those people play on like unregulated sites that are not officially allowed to offer games to the US? Or are they playing in states where it's legalized and fenced off uh, poker? Poker games going on, although, although they're not that fenced off anymore, right? A few states like decided to pool their pool their pools, pool their player pools. This is a decent board. I'm gonna slow play here. Also, unfortunately, I don't remember who the pre-flop aggressor was. I must have been here. Yeah. Get a call. That's sweet. By a very call happy dude. I probably should have parted here, to be honest. He is call happy. That's a perfect run out. The nuts stay nutty. You would go, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, of course, I mean. Makes sense. Let's see how call happy he is. Not that, huh? Not that much. In married in June! One of my very good friends is getting married in June as well in Spain, although I'm not sure if I can join him yet. They invited me, but I had to take a bunch of money out of my life roll a couple of months ago. So I'm not sure if I'll be there. Doesn't matter, um, happy to hear the Golden Blazer. Um, nice. Is it gonna be the first stream wedding of Twitch? Oh, is it? They have like rounds of selection and stuff, huh? Oh, fair enough. They probably have a fair share of applic applicants. 
Um, it's really unfortunate that we A don't have a pair and B don't have a heart. Certainly could fold it and I kind of want to. I'm not sure if it's the right move, EV, equity wise, EV wise. We do have to wrap some of our outs very well, might be dirty. High deck raw, huh? Let's push our luck. As I said, should always be folded. Nah, I'm honestly, I'm not sure what the move is here. What the move should have been. What did he have? 10, 10, 6 deuce. Really? Well, in that case we had excellent equity, but you know, that would be the wrong way of approaching it. Assuming this hand. Huh. Yeah, probably misplayed this one. I'm uh, not sure. I don't know. I don't know what the move would have been. Should have been there on the turn. I think it's close. They'd play on party, okay? That's a 100 BB stack here. I'm always raising this. This is a low flush folding here often enough, and I think the answer is no. Fortunately. If your bet's really small, then it's a different story. Then I'm gonna come over the top. Yeah. Let's do this. So he has a flush, another set or something. Because a flush he can definitely fold. Just calling, shoving any rivers, also probably a, a good move here. Nice, nice. Nice hand, he says, I agree. Thank you, sir. So made up for that, the way I played the other hand, although there I'm still not... I still have no idea what the what I should have done there. They're playing party, so I guess it must be regulator done, huh? Jay Patel, if I'm pronouncing that in any way correctly, thank you very much for the follow. That is very nice indeed. Ah, that part I missed. That does make sense, yeah, fair enough. So the Virgin Islands can play on party, interesting, interesting. Huh. Really? 
So it would be on a mansion on the Virgin Islands. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is tough to say no to that. Damn. Oh man, fingers crossed. As the Germans would say, thumbs pressed. That would be the German equivalent of that idiom. Wow. What's going on here? Should we regret anything? Nope, we should not. Is Ace Jack taking it? Wow, really? <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Well, we have a flush. Better than having no flush, I guess. Check it once more. And probably gonna call... Yeah, let's call once here. This is sort of helpful. I suspect... <laughs> Thanks, Blazer. I would have looked mighty stupid had it not worked. I appreciate it. <laughs> Got him indeed in that case. I was lucky that he bet so small. Had he bet any bigger than... I think the chances of that working would have gone down dramatically. Alright, so against the big blind we don't have any clubs covered here. We do have the top pair covered and an over pair to boot. There's, Except for the flush there's probably not much to protect against, so sticking to my regular bet sizing seems like a good idea. That is an excellent turn, all things considered. Please size up here a little bit. We should hardly be behind. That doesn't change anything unless he river tends. Which is not impossible, it's happened before to us. Like watch him lead now. I'm always getting worried when people tank so long. I'm never quite sure if I should, you know, follow through. If, should, should he now check if I should follow through with the bet? Because he's not having aces. If he has aces and just more power to him, then he played him really weirdly. And I tell you what, that long tank, it kind of scared me. If that was the intention behind it, then I'm... I'm almost convinced, I want to say. Yeah, I'm just gonna hate life if he comes over the top, even if it's gonna be as a bluff. Oh, good stuff. Good thing I checked. Unfortunate run out there. Babs Poker, you're streaming yourself? Well, that's excellent timing, because I'm looking to, you know, go on break or even uh, stop for the day. So I can could come over to your place then. Bring the nice people that are keeping me company over. Happy to check behind. I'm making two pair now. Well, what's the ten in my hand? And a jack of clubs, let's call. I definitely could turn it into a bluff at this point. But he bet really quickly, so it's very likely not a... More often than not, that's not a bluff. I'm gonna let this one go. Someone, I th might have been Jane Anders, said on his stream, and I like that comment a lot. Um, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Said that when there's quick bets happening in spots like these, it's more often than not a value bet, because people need a little bit of time to construct a bluff and put it together in their head. And I found it to be true pretty much all the time so far. Uh, 
Right, so are there any empty uh, pillow streamers streaming right now? Nope. It's like all of the run and one streamers are taking the day off so far. Ace hey, Queen 8 on the button. Seeing is suited, sounds good to me. And we do take it down, sounds good to them as well. Appreciate that. Yeah, there are no PLO streams going on, so when I go, when I end the stream, then we might as well head over to your place, Babs. Stahlarbeiter, that's an awesome name. <laughs> We would be translated as steelworker, in case you're wondering. It just sounds rugged and tough in German. Stahlarbeiter! Then again, most German words sound rugged and tough. Um, well, fair enough. Babs is already on it. Yeah, PLO t uh, here's the tip, uh, Stahlarbeiter, if you... Hang on. If you want to get games going, put all your entries, you have six of them, put all your entries into uh, the pool. And that way the, the pool for the given stake looks larger and uh, more people join. I mean, it's an obvious, I'm sure you've worked it out for yourself. Just bears repeating. It's not a bad card, all in all. Not a horrible card, at least. Gives us yet another straight. And he just called, so I'm fine continuing the barrel here. I'm searching on the barrel. A lot of rivers, this being one of them. So yeah, that works for me when I'm starting uh, my sessions and there are not enough tables going on right now, uh, just yet. I put all my entries in and uh, within a reasonable time I get to my tables. So now a lot of hands have trouble calling here. I hope he's having one of them. That's exactly the reason why I uh, seabed the turn, so I can continue the story, continue the pressure. Just with the open ender there? Wow. What? I heard the noise. Victor Lewis! Thanks a whole bunch for the follow. Appreciate it. And I'm starting to get the feeling that, you know, uh, my head is not in the game all that well anymore. Let's say another 10 minutes. It, the stream has been going on for 3 hours, almost 4 hours. 3 hours, 50, 50 65, 60, 50, I can't talk anymore. For almost 4 hours. And Babs Poker is going live now, so yeah, I'll check out your place in a moment, Babs. Awesome. Didn't know you streamed. Or did I know? No. Well, consider yourself followed. I hope you're not paranoid. Go and live me. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie. I get that reference. <laughs> Just gonna say shenanigans. Paso! Hey! Welcome back, Paso! Happy checking once more here and happy putting more money in here. He, now I'm gonna bet it, hoping he has something he can call with, i.e. Ace King Ace is nope. Good spot here now. I feel he got checked through on the flop. That's excellent. Giving us a full house. Alright, Blazer, thanks a whole bunch for dropping by. That's a huge pleasure. Yeah, and for everybody who just joined, um, do check out the Golden Blazers channel. He has an excellent mid-stakes poker channel is up over 5k this month and every time I'm there uh, there's a party going on the chat is going crazy 
and he's usually winning a sit and go or two or tour just a tournament. And I every time I host him, I stick around there for a while. Mm, I think this one I'm letting go. There, I'm st there's still too much money behind on my end here to justify calling. Not blocking that flush either, so could be doing this with a combo draw that I'm doing not that great against. Even though he is a loose aggro player. And right, Paso, since you just joined, uh, might you might get excited if I tell you how the day has been going. Because certainly getting me excited, like not tiring of talk I'm not tired of talking about it yet. We are up 14 buy-ins, 280 euros today. 12 of those happened on stream. And I certainly got lucky in some spots, but in other spots I just played well and my cards held. But I'm not gonna deny luck. There were at least two all-ins where I just had... I was crushed. I was proper crushed. And somehow drew two miracle turns and rivers. Against the small blind... Against the small blind I probably could have bet here. It's a big blind I'm more likely to check at this board. So I'm not bluffing out better aces than I have, I think. I'm not bluffing out the ace jack, ace queen, ace king. I'm just gonna check behind, hope we're good. And that qualifies as us being good. Barely, but I think this dude at 100 BB, I do wanna raise here. This is a pretty decent flop. He just calls, that is good news. A very iffy board, but I'm still going. Well, I can, am I gonna see that against this dude who was check crazy? Mm. Yeah, actually, because then I'm I don't I'm not losing any equity if I'm if I get raid here, then I can just let it go. The green color is for uh, loose passive players. And he does come over the top again. If I would be playing longer, I would definitely take note of that. I, I will, but session is coming to an end, so it's not gonna be come too in handy that information. And thanks for the Shazam. Hey, to the Redskin. Welcome to the channel, mate. That is a decent board, even three ways. Yeah, I think I'll be uh, ending the, at least this stream in a short while, in a few minutes. It's been going on for four hours, one minute now. Here I'll happily ch check, not blocking anything of relevance. Not a bad turn, as far as turns are concerned. So we get called here from the small blind, which I find curious. Really hope he has kings at this point. Oh, that's you. Okay, well then, actually that's not up to date either, seeing that you're now loose aggressive. But that I know that now that I know it's you, then you're gonna get the friend of the channel shirt. Here I'm gonna do this. Um, really? From the sleepy. Dude, huh? I don't. I mean, there are some threes, like an ace, king, queen, three, double suited, something like that. We are blocking nut flush draw, which is also a pity. In table two, I take it down there with the king, king on the 1099 board. I think I let it go, even though they've seen me fold a lot, like all the time when I get raised here, but. Them. If at best I'm drawing to a four or an ace, yeah, thanks guys. It has been an amazing day, it really has. 
And right, as I was gonna say, I might take the night off. Tomorrow's gonna be the Sunday Sprint, starting at noon, Central European Summer Time. Wow. I'm liking this flop quite a bit. Right, so I might as, I might as well rest and relax a little, maybe even put some, get some studying time in. And have a marathon stream session tomorrow. Where we are going to be competing for the Sunday Sprint first place, potentially. Because this time the No Limit 4 grinders can't uh, outvolume us, so to say. Because we have that sweet multiplier of 1.5, so all the hands we are playing, uh, every hand plays for, uh, counts for 1.5 hands. That might give us the edge that we need. Okay, we have some funky spots all over the place. I'm actually gonna take one off here and have some plans for the river. Well, no, I... Probably just gonna call. Here, I also called. He bets... Not this time. This time I'm just gonna call. If he has it, he has it. Oh, he has quads? Well, who am I to argue with quads? He checks and that is fine by me. We have the, we have him out pipped. Here, after board paired, happily, happily checking this one down. Stole one on table two on an ace king king board with an ace in my hand. Can't do it. Need to let it go. So here we have Paso, a friend of the stream on our table to our right. Unfortunately we have position on you, Paso, but not for much longer. I'm gonna end the stream in a few minutes. I think I'm not even gonna play like a little bit off screen today. I'm just gonna close the poker clients and drink a beer, study just a tiny bit. Baltic Narwhal. Oh, I appreciate you asking the question because I never get tired of giving the answer today. This session is going great. Hang on. This might help. Yeah, we are up 14 binds for the day, 12 of these on stream, two a took down uh, Yeah, that's exactly to the to the penny almost. Two of them I took down during the warm-up. Right, so in the splash pot he did come over the top. I'm think I don't I'm not taking the best decisions any decisions anymore, so another reason to end the stream, at least this one for now. But as played here, I'm never folding. Very, I appreciate it very much that he bets small. Yeah, again, I'm not folding here, even if he pots it. Might lose a decent one here. Very unfortunate, Mr. Bond. Very unfortunate indeed. Question is, am I folding? I'm blocking kings, I'm blocking jacks as well, so... We split it up, and that's awesome. Ooh. No more stream tonight? Maybe, yeah. Probably, maybe not. Maybe I'll take a rest and yeah, be rested for the marathon stream tomorrow. Okay, 
I figured we we're really deep, it's a splashed pot. I have position on him for the rest of the hand. Let's take one off, see if he calms down. We could make a straight, we could have the best hand. If he bets again, then I'm out. Also not gonna try any bluffing here, I think. Even if he checks once more, I'm just gonna check behind myself. Don't expect to win this all that often. Put it mildly. Yeah, we were ahead a decent by a decent bit until that river. Get aces. And I think I don't let the side now that one more orbit and that's gonna be enough. Yeah, so right now we are up almost 280 bucks. Interesting flop. Hmm. Okay, didn't make a straight. Yeah, and at least right now I'm not playing my A-game anymore, uh, Redskins. Not sure if that's gonna change later tonight. Yeah, case in point. I didn't think about uh, the spot at all. I just hit that race button. Not couldn't tell you for the life of me why. Let's see if this is this horrible. Let's check it out. No, it's not. Actually, this one is fine. Surprisingly enough. Right, so everybody keeps checking. We do have that six. Nobody's. I don't think anybody's gonna have a flush here. Let's see if we can take this one down. Just straight up steal it. Nope, doesn't look like it. Has he made it straight? No? What do you have there? Top two of. Fair enough, probably. And that's it, that's gonna be the last hand of the stream. Then we're gonna head over to Bob's Poker's place. See what he's up to, or she, I don't I don't not quite sure. Yeah. And I think the exact number is that we are up 270. No regrets. So Let's do that in a moment. We are gonna have a regular and recurring home game on stars. Two tournaments, one play money, one real money. And we're still in the process of deciding like the blinds, the limit, uh, the length of the, of the, what's it called? I can't talk anymore. Like how, how long each level should be and all that. If you wanna, if you wanna cons uh, take part in these tournaments, by all means, um, to check out the home game club Nuthouse on Stars. You can also find the information on the Discord, and you will also find the polls regarding the structure of the upcoming tournaments on Discord. So if you want to make your voice heard, want to give your input, then head over there in announcements. You're going to find various polls regarding these tournaments. And if you want to be informed if you're new to the channel when I come back to stream, then just follow the channel. This way you get notified by Twitch. Or just check back in. I'm streaming every day usually. And I feel I'm not playing my A-game anymore. I definitely feel I'm not talking uh, as well as I want to anymore. But just gonna end the stream now. I'm very likely not gonna be back tonight. But I'll be around in Discord if anything comes up. And I'll be back tomorrow uh, starting at noon-ish. Central European summertime. Yeah. 
I'm all talked out now. Um, thanks everybody for keeping me company. It's been a huge pleasure. It's been a huge session too. And everything is just peachy. I hope you have a pleasant Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. And if you want to, I'll see you again tomorrow.